day two. And uh, last night, I think we got transported back to Idaho. I was just telling Jim, this looks a lot like the country I hunt back now. Like, kind of scary how much it looks like Idaho. It's awesome though, but just hunting this big burn and uh, we're trying to find a buck today. We've got a couple special guests over here. Um, Trent from Born and Raised here with his son Wyatt. So we've got extra couple set of eyes that are hunting with us. That's awesome. And uh, man, hoping for a good day. It rained last night when we were going to bed. It rained and then it, at one point it was raining pretty hard. So that's a good thing and it's a little more cloudy today. Yesterday they said it was just pretty much like the worst black tail day for high tail. But let's see what we can find today. Roscoe. Did you find anything? No, no, I've got a big case of blacktail blindness going on. Blacktail blindness. Approaching a two-day streak without seeing one. Who spotted them yesterday? Ross. Who spotted them yesterday? Yeah. yeah. A little humble pie here. <laughs> it's the eyes. I think it's the eyeliner. Mm -hmm. I think it's the eyeliner. Well, I told him, I said, if you want to spot big blacktail, you gotta have I mean, you glass so much you bruise your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> You're deep into the glass like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So I'm just curious, how did I get so lucky to be able to be with you two Twice. times in two weeks? In two weeks. I don't know. That's the most unlucky thing I've <laughs> ever heard, actually. No, I think the most unlucky is what happened here. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. No, it's good to be here and love to have you guys down in some of the country that I'm kind of more coastal, but at the same time, I've hunted stuff like this over in here. It's, isn't it pretty, though? It's honestly insane. It's I said, I just keep expecting to find a mule deer. Yeah, yeah. What's our bet today? Double or nothing. Two milkshakes? <laughs> yeah. Double or nothing? Two First milkshakes. One? What kind of milkshakes are we talking here? I don't know. I figure the, ones, the ones that brings the boys to the yard. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, we're in Oregon. What do you got? Marionberry? We've got, you name it. Raspberry? Raspberry, Raspberry Marionberry. Probably has to be a berry. Probably. Plateau bear. Gotta be some deer in here. Well, I better turn the camera off so you I can have find to. something. You can just keep it rolling. It's gonna, it's gonna be like seeing a deer here in any second now. Any second. Yeah, any at least second. gives me a fighting chance to find one first. So. I'll give you guys 15 seconds. Yeah, give us some, give us a grace period, would yeah. you? 15 <clears throat> seconds. You take it easy. You hit it too hard yesterday. You spot the big spike yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> first one ever. First, first one. black Columbia first black tail. That you've um, ever seen? I, we were talking about that. I don't know. I, I've been to the coast quite a few times. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I've seen one. I might have saw one down at Grants Pass. But first one that I can actually first remember. First one that right? we're, when you're hunting. Well, hunt, oh, for sure. That's not terrible. No. Hopefully we find another one that you could actually shoot at. I'm really good with these spotting scopes. So what kind of milkshake? Marionberry. Is there any other kind? <laughs> oh, dope, dope, dope. Trent yeah. is the winner. We might have to double it up for the buck, first buck maybe, just to. Did two does make one buck? Well, yeah. So, lots back. of country to glass. It's crazy. They're plentiful. <laughs> Lots of the flat I mean, tops. We're over yesterday's high mark already. It is the afternoon, it's about. 342. We uh, 
made our way down to this spot. We're gonna glass across these canyons. We're actually on the way opposite side of where we were this morning. So we're gonna sneak up here and see if we can spot anything. Welcome back to Switchback Outdoors. This is episode six of the Icon Tour of the Deer Species. If you haven't watched episodes one through five, go back and watch those, leave a comment on those episodes. In order to be entered in to win the grand prize for the Sig Cross, Chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, and the Whiskey 6 Scope, you have to leave a comment on every episode of the Icon Tour of the Deer Species. Also leave a comment on episode six right now, you're gonna be entered in to win a phone scope. All you have to do, leave a comment and you're entered in to win. Um, I needed to clarify in the last episode, um, when we were in the wreck, we lost a couple animals, meaning we lost a horse and a mule in the wreck. We didn't lose a couple elk or anything like that. We had some people confused in the comments there. So not the best deal, but you can replace all that kind of stuff. So in the grand scheme of things, we were, we were pretty fortunate in that wreck. So um, last week we gave away a Kafaro Urban Zippy for episode five, and the winner of that is Ed Branson. Ed, shoot us an email, switch back outdoors TV at Gmail. We'll get that prize heading your way. If you guys haven't hit subscribe, hit that subscribe button and that alert bell, and uh, leave a comment on every episode so you're entered in to win that grand prize. Leave a comment on this one, you're entered in to win the phone scope, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. We actually just ran into a couple guys where we were gonna go, and uh, it sounds like I've got a good buck spot they're gonna shoot, so we might get some video for you guys. And them shooting the butt. Oh, there you go. Little four point. And it's a four by four. Beautiful. Good job. Did you get my text to you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't want to screw you guys up or anything. No. no. Okay. <laughs> hey, at least the scope has a number one. <laughs> yeah. So, who do we got here? Scott McCurdy. Scott McCurdy. Here's the shooter. Yep. Todd Blankenship. All right. So we ran into these beautiful young people over here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're gonna shoot this. We're gonna shoot this buck. I think we'll try a crack okay. at it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And that's the biggest. Well, we've been hunting all day and we haven't seen one, so nice. I'd look into it if I was you. Yeah. But yeah. So we're just gonna see if we can't. Yeah, we still got still got to make it, make a good shot. Right? Yes. Yeah. You've got a weapon. We've got a weapon. I haven't shot it much, but we shot it enough. So. It'll do it. And there's no wind. It feels actually really good. Yeah, it's great. It's perfect. perfect. So that, that, but yeah. So, like when they do look at you, Ross, like you can tell that white face. Yeah. It's just like you can definitely see it's a buck. Okay. What do you think, Jim? I haven't found a buck today. I don't know. Now we see what a big one looks like, huh? Yeah. He's in some nasty country. It's a great buck. But like you said, with this man, he's starting to kiss him. Mm -hmm. He come out of up there and he's starting okay. to Okay. They're trying to decide. Tell us before you're going to oh, let freedom ring there. They're trying to decide if they want to try to see if they can whistle or something to get him to stand yeah. up or... They said when they first got here, he was out feeding and he bedded back down by the time they got set up. So he could be down for a long hey, time. I could throw a rock down. So. No rock throw. And then no. they've got a canyon in between. So he looked, He said he's super solid. Looks like a good shooting position. It does. I'm excited. You excited? I'm pretty well jacked right now. You level time? So I think the play here is we're gonna try to do a whistle or something just to try to get him to possibly stand up, at least maybe maneuver, look around. I don't know, we'll see what happens here. Are you recording? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> he does good. Look.
Let's hear it, Trent. Right. <laughs> Let's hear your whistle. Well, my whistling is very, very. I know. I just, I just, just want to hear it. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> There's no whistle rule coming. Out there. <laughs> There's no whistle, man. There's no whistle. <laughs> yeah, it's been that way since I'm since I was young. Hey, a for no shame, a no shame, a for effort. He does. Does Sweat. he? Yeah. Old black eye. Oh yeah, he does. Let's go, bud. Free bullets. Free bullets over here. <laughs> here we go, maybe. Come on. Come on, get Come up. On. Here we go. Get up. Here we go. And I think it's right time back. to give him a nap. Right back to the lazy season. Ah, oh, that's no fucking Hang on just a second. Oh, Zoom out. Whistle. Hey, boy! Hi. Just high, high to the left. High reload, to the left. Reload. Stand in the same place. Nope, now he's moving. Where is he? Just went. He's right working there. to the right. You got him, Todd, or not? Yeah. Okay. Just dumped him. Fine. Dumped him. Stay on him, though. Stay on him. I need was... shells, Scott. He's rolling. He's rolling all the way. Still going. Oh, he's. he's that was just. He's like dead. Oh, he's, his head's up. That one went in high. His head, it went in high. His, his head's up. Went in high. Where's you still got him on here, Jim? No, he's. He's he's I'm below where he was. We're kind of rearranging. Yep. Yeah, nice. can we just, as soon as I pick him out, I can't find him either. Him, He's walking, well, barely. Well, my battery's about ready to die. So Is it? He's staggering. Nice job. Dead, dead deer. He's dead. dead. Hey, that's the first time I've seen a Columbia black tail get shot. Really? Yeah, that's awesome. That's a, good one too. that's a great buck. That's a great buck. Well, it's nice knowing you guys. <laughs> See you guys later. We're going to go find our own. But, no, just kidding. No, you're fine. Go. Go do what you gotta do. I don't blame you. Hey, man. I would normally go help you pack, but I've got. We only got a couple hours. I've got a couple hours before I gotta get one shot. <laughs> I think if you hit that rock slide, you can yeah. rock right up it. I think you'll be right on him. Oh, he was right. Yeah, there he is. Is there no road in the bottom? No. Oh, no. <laughs> they wish. We are making our way out this road that's got a bunch of these blowdowns on it and i've got about an hour and a half hour and 40 minutes is that what we got it's 450 right now and so we gotta go find a buck and shoot it we'll find one easy as that right we just gotta find one it only takes one that's right a wise man once said it only takes one not sure how wise it's a black thing. I'm not gonna lie guys, this has been a tough hunt. Not physically tough yet until we shoot something. But stressful with only having two and a half days to try to fill a Columbia blacktail. It's kind of a lot of pressure. But we've seen some absolutely amazing country and uh, it's just a matter of time before something happens. I was planning on leaving tomorrow morning but we might have to hunt tomorrow if we don't get something tonight to try to fill a tag just because this is my only Columbia Blacktail tag. So feeling some pressure but feeling confident at the same time and uh, see what we can find. Awesome country. It was awesome to see that big buck. Congrats to Todd. We told him normally we'd help him pack him but with our limited time make things a little tougher to go across and do that one. We've got to try to find a buck for me. So, 
Fingers crossed, guys. What happened, Jim? Slump buster. Ended up finding a deer. Not just one, multiple. I don't know what they are, but we're gonna take a look. This is real good for mor morale right now, though. It's real. It's what we needed. Talk to me. Don't definitely want to fall. A, definitely a flat top. Dang it. I don't know what the other one is. I can't see it right now. We are back to the truck. About last shooting light, and uh, Jim got on the board, spotted two does, and we looked over some amazing country. We were talking after we ran into a guy yesterday morning, they went and shot a buck. We passed a guy this morning, and they shot a buck. So it's kind of like always the bridesmaid, never the bride, until tomorrow. I'm gonna be like a Big fat Greek wedding tomorrow morning. Big party. But, no, another awesome day, super fun. We just don't need to be sweating when we're hiking. We should be wet from rain. That's what Josh says, we need rain. And this is the opposite. So, excited, excited for tomorrow. What's that? In the words of Rocky, it's the final countdown. From the movie Rocky, fourth and 10. Bottom of the ninth. Two seconds left on the shot clock. It's no gonna happen. No pressure, Josh. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. No, we are heading out. It's the last morning of this hunt, and uh, we're gonna start cruising. We're gonna go look at new country. Josh has gave us a tour of some absolutely amazing country, so we're excited to see what today brings. Um, we just need to find a deer with some antlers attached to it that someone else isn't getting about ready to shoot. I still want to know, we're going to have to check it back in with you guys and see how that all went down, see if I'll get some pictures from them and stuff. But uh, where they shot that thing, it was a long, long ways and like down Crazy Canyon, up another canyon. So we were feeling pretty bad because all of us said normally we'd go help them, but we had to go try to find a buck for me. So I was the selfish one. So sorry, Todd and I think Scott, but Hopefully, we will be finding something here in the next little bit. The sun's just, well, the sun's not about ready to come up, but we're about ready to be able to see. And Jim back there, he's on the board. Yesterday, he spotted the last two deer, so he's got it. Momentum's high right now. Well, Oregon, you win this time, but we'll be back. Kind of got a harebrained idea. I'll probably have to run it by Amber, but we'll see what's gonna happen here. But this was our last day over here, and you can tell it's still sunny. And Josh tells us we need rain. And guess what? Rain's coming tomorrow. It's the way it goes, but Josh, can't thank you enough. Hey, thank you guys enough. It's been a blast. Uh, I say, weather didn't cooperate, but I guess you guys got to see some country you've never seen before. So. Yeah. I saw some deer. We and, do. Uh, all in all, it was a great time. I mean, you guys were great to be with. We've got him fooled still. We got to get out of here before he realizes. But we saw three does this morning, and uh, we're going to head home. I've got, it's about 1240, so it's 140 at home. About a 10 hour drive, I think. So it's gonna be a late one. And I'm gonna wake up in the morning, take the boys out hunting. Next morning, wake up, go 
go into elk camp. We got to get it pulled out, probably hunt in there a couple of days, and then we'll let you know what's going to happen towards the end of the week. Might be something good, might be something not good, but we are out of Oregon. It is now a week later, and I made the long drive back over to Western Oregon to try to fill my Columbia Blacktail tag. Uh, it's been quite the week I left over here last Sunday after we hunted that morning, drove all the way home. Woke up the next morning, went hunting with Bennett. The next day, we had to go pack in and get elk camp, and then did that long, snowy trip back out of there. Drove over last night. And now I'm heading to meet Josh, and we're gonna go try for the last day of the season. So, uh, man, it's not raining, which like we said before, you want the rain, and we are supposed to be getting some rain, but we are not getting any rain. But I'm about ready, I'm about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes out from meeting Josh, and we're gonna give it our best shot for the last day of the season. We gotta try to get, fill my Columbia Blacktail tag. The project of trying to shoot all the five deer species is proved to be pretty stressful um, because if you only shoot four, that's not all five. And so that's what kind of caused the bonsai 10 plus hour drive back over here to hunt one day. But um, hopefully today's the day and uh, I'll be able to find a buck. Can't be super picky. Uh, probably the first legal buck uh, I'll probably have to try to take just like I said with a short amount of time and for this project of trying to shoot all the five deer species in a single season. So, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we'll see how it goes today. Pretty excited, pretty nervous all at the same time. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be finding some bucks um, here in just a little bit. Well, Josh, do you like this weather better? I do. It's a lot better. I actually had to put on a sweatshirt this, this, this go around. Not 70 degrees. No, not flip flop weather. And we've got the big buck spotter. You gonna spot them all? Sure. <laughs> sure? Sure. I'll try. Washington has some general tags, but don't know that for sure, so we're gonna jump on, probably go hunt and see what we can find. But uh, man, saw some incredible country, um, just didn't pan out for us. They were going, they, we were in the deer, we weren't really, we only saw five does today, but like all around us, people were seeing deer. We were just unlucky. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now, kind of a little low, but try to figure it out, see if we can find another Columbia Blacktail to hunt, and uh, continue the project of trying to shoot the five deer species, but we shall see how that all goes. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, next time we see me, hopefully we'll be by chasing another deer species, and uh, we'll see how it all goes. The, the quest for the, the deer slam, the five deer species, is, is not over and uh, still got some work to do. 